Good morning, folks. I'm coming to you from somewhere new today. I am in New Zealand, and I'm actually standing beneath Mount Cook, the tallest mountain in New Zealand. And I'm a shorebird lover, and there's a shorebird here on the South Island of New Zealand that I've always wanted to see, and hopefully today will be the day. And I know there's a lot of other people out there who love shorebirds, like shorebirds, and uh, wanted to take you on on this little part of my trip to uh, hopefully experience this bird in its habitat beneath these these big mountains. Um, the ryebill is a unique bird in the world in that it's got a sideways curved beak, the only bird in the world that's got a completely sideways curved beak. And it's evolved specifically to live on these broad braided river systems beneath these big glaciated peaks on the South Island of New Zealand. These mountains release a tremendous amount of sediment they come down the rivers, pour down these streams, and into these valleys where they release all their sediment. They're very active systems with lots and lots of different river channels. And the ryebills forage along the edges of these river channels. And that's where I'll be keying my search today in that specific habitat. And that occurs a ways down here in the valley in front of me, and that's where I'm gonna head next. So come on along with me, and we'll see if we can find this incredible little special bird of New Zealand, the ryebill. I'm down to the river now. I crossed a few little rivulets getting down here, but now I'm on a pretty vast expanse of gravel out here and mostly dry and uh, there's mosses growing, other plants growing. So it's not an area where water has been flowing. Not the perfect habitat for ryebill yet. Well, we've got our first plover right ahead of me here. I uh, checked him out with my binoculars. It's a double-banded plover up in this drier, terraced uh, area of the, of the Braided River. And he's giving little pip calls you might be able to hear in the background. Maybe I'll spin around. And uh, they like these dry, barren flatlands where there's not a lot of big rocks and obstructions and they have line of sight and they can hunt things off the surface. Mostly they're visual hunters. They spot stuff on the surface, they run over, they catch it. And it's totally different than the way the ryebill does things. But they're both really closely related, which is pretty, pretty awesome that we've got both of these birds out here, potentially, um, nesting really close to each other probably. But they live completely different lifestyles and have completely different beaks. So I'm at the first river channel, and this habitat looks much more suitable for ryebill. Big cobbles, lots of cracks and crevices where uh, aquatic invertebrates, insects can hide, where they use that beak to reach under the rocks. So hopefully somewhere staying right along the water's edge, I'll uh, turn one up. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was saying that, and I heard another plover call. It sounded a little different than the double banded plover and a ryebill just flew in and landed right on the water's edge, probably 70 feet up from me. So I got my first ryebill. So this bird is a uh, foraging along the water's edge, and it's foraging in this direction. So this is a great way to get closer to birds without pursuing them. 
uh, a bird like this, if you're low to the ground, laying on the ground, chances are if they're foraging towards you, they will continue on towards you. So I'm just going to sit here, set up, get low, and wait and hope that that rye bill just forages right towards me. Just went right around me again and literally walked about an inch away from the camera behind it. <laughs> uh, really beautiful little bird. So I'm going to leapfrog him again and just, uh, in shooting like this, you know, I really want to get shots that show this bird using its beak the way it's meant to be used. And uh, because of all the obstructions, getting low with all the different rocks, um, it's a situation where you just got to shoot a ton of frames to get the parts of the bird sharp you want sharp, to get that action, that moment of it uh, poking under a rock with its beak or whatever it is, um, and also the right mix of elements with the rocks around it. Um, I love working with obstructions, uh, out of focus elements in a frame, but you have to shoot a ton of frames to get one that really feels right and balanced and nice. So. I'm just going to keep shooting and shooting and hope I get a few frames that I really like the, the behavior, um, something that says something about the bird, and also frames it really nice and, and suggests the habitat in a way that, that uh, uh, is visually interesting. So I'm going to carry on and see what I can get. That was pretty awesome. I've uh, shot a ton. I uh, got my 800 out as well and shot some that way. So cool to see how they use that curved bill uh, reaching between these river rocks. Really cool to see that evolutionary trait in action. And uh, there seems to be a bird foraging on the other side of the river too. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to head over to the other side of this river if I can make it. Um, and go look at some more birds. Pretty amazing. I found this pair of paradise shell ducks with chicks. Beautiful, sexually dimorphic shell ducks um, in these rapids with some little young ones and a rye bill flew up and landed literally right next to me. He's right here. That bird left. So I have a feeling this vlog's gonna jump around quite a bit today. I've got all day and the light's changing rapidly. Um, like I've said in other vlogs and I say all the time, Overcast light is directional, often. So you always want to look around you and see which way uh, you like the light. Um, I'm going to have a lot of different lighting to deal with because these clouds are constantly moving and the bright areas in the sky are changing. But I'll be continually trying to position myself in places where I've got a, a good light angle on whatever I'm trying to work on here. So lots of birds to work on and I'm just going to be wandering all around this area shooting and Wish me luck. So I'm walking the river channel now in what looks like perfect ryebill habitat. An active area of the braided river system where there's lots of different channels for feeding. Um, lots of water moving through. This looks to be perfect for these birds. So I just had an adult fly in, give a few alarm calls, and then right behind it I noticed a chick foraging in this little rivulet in front of me. And I had another two adults just fly by chasing each other. So looks like this is a good spot, and I'm going to try to do a little shooting right here. Um, 
Yeah, got it. there's a chick literally right here. So, um, real quick on equipment. Um, I've got my Nikon Z9 with me on this trip. Also the 100 to 400, which I'm using 14X with at times. I tested it out, I like it pretty well. And I've got the uh, Nikon 800 PF Z lens in the backpack. And that's about it for shooting these guys. Um, I do not have a video tripod with me on this trip, which will make it challenging to, to film these little guys. But I'll do the best I can to get a little bit of footage. And uh, here we go, see how it works. While I was out there, I had a really beautiful encounter in the last light that peeked through the clouds um, with a rye bill and two newly hatched chicks, probably only two days out of the egg. And the female was brooding the chicks uh, closer than my minimum focus distance with my 800, but uh, I was able to back off and I think got some really nice shots of the chicks and uh, potentially the female brooding the chicks. So really wonderful way to end this day. It's been beautiful to be out here and see so much of this bird's life history in just a single day from nests to chicks to uh, courtship chasing, um, birds feeding. Really a beautiful day and absolutely stunning place to encounter one of these special birds in the world that people go out of their way to see that are adapted to these very specific environments on our planet. Thanks for coming along.